converting between the mass of the substance and the moles of the substance. You use the molar mass of an element or compound to convert between the mass of a substance and the moles of the substance. The conversion factors for these calculations are based on the relationship that the molar mass of the substance is equal to one mole. And so, using that relationship, we can have these conversion factors, molar mass over one mole, and also one mole over molar mass. So let's have this sample problem one. What is the mass of 2.5 mole of aluminum oxide? So step one, write the given and the unknown in the problem. So the given in the problem are the number of moles of aluminum oxide, 2.5 mole aluminum oxide. And the unknown is the mass grams aluminum oxide. Step two, calculate the molar mass first of aluminum oxide. Why? Because it is the one that you will be using for conversion factor. So to calculate, recall that you need to know the importance again of the subscript in the formula and they represent these uh, number of moles. So here, the subscript of aluminum is 2. So that means 2 moles of aluminum is contained in the formula. And so convert it to grams by multiplying it with the molar mass of aluminum, which is 27 grams aluminum in 1 mole of aluminum. And where do we get this? From the atomic mass of aluminum. So 2 times 27 is 54 grams aluminum. Cancel the unit of mole aluminum. Next, 3 subscript of oxygen. 3 moles of oxygen times the conversion factor. 16 grams of oxygen is the weight of 1 mole of oxygen. So, Multiply this factor with 3 moles of oxygen, cancel the mole of oxygen, then we have 48 grams of oxygen. And so, the mass of 1 mole of aluminum oxide is equal to 54 grams of aluminum plus 48 grams of oxygen equals 102 grams of aluminum oxide. And this will be the relationship that we will be using. One mole of aluminum oxide is equal, weighs how many grams? 102 grams aluminum oxide, which is the molar mass of aluminum oxide. So, step three is using this conversion factor, we can now calculate the unknown. And our unknown is grams aluminum oxide. So the given is 2.5 mole aluminum oxide times the conversion factor, the molar mass, 102 grams aluminum oxide over 1 mole aluminum oxide. So cancel mole aluminum oxide. We have 2.5 times 102 is equal to 255 grams aluminum oxide. Let us evaluate if it makes sense. One mole of aluminum oxide weighs 102 grams aluminum oxide. What about 2.5 mole aluminum oxide? What is the weight or what is the mass? 255 grams. And it makes sense because if one mole is 102, then 2.5 must be more than twice the mass of one mole, which is correct, 255 grams aluminum oxide. 
Okay, we have another problem, sample problem. How many moles of iron 3 oxide are present in 320 grams of pure iron 3 oxide? Again, step one, write the given. What are the given? The grams of iron oxide. And of course, the unknown is the number of moles of iron oxide. Step two again is calculate the molar mass in order for it to be used as conversion factor. So again, from the formula, two moles of iron times the molar mass of iron, one mole of iron is 55.8 grams. So cancel mole of iron, mole of iron, we have 116, 111.6 grams iron. And then, 3 moles of oxygen from the formula, the subscript of oxygen is 3. So, 3 moles of oxygen times the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16 grams per 1 mole of oxygen. So, cancel mole of oxygen. Then, 3 times 16 is 48 grams of oxygen. So, it means that the mass of one mole of iron 3 oxide is equal to the sum of the grams of iron, which is 111.6 grams, plus 48 grams of oxygen. And it is equal to 159.6 grams iron 3 oxide. And this is the one that we will use for the conversion factor to establish it. So, step three, using that conversion factor, calculate the unknown. So, the given is 320 grams of iron 3 oxide multiplied by the factor 1 mole of iron oxide weighs 159.6 grams. So, this is the denominator. And as you can see, if the given is grams, then on the conversion factor, the denominator must be grams. So, multiplying 320 times 1 divided by 159.6 will give you 2 moles of iron oxide. So, let us evaluate if it makes sense. 1 mole of iron oxide has a mass equal to its molar mass, which is 159.6 grams iron oxide. So that means 320 grams, which is twice the molar mass, is equal to 2 moles. And it makes sense. Another problem is, how many grams of aluminum are there in 3 moles of aluminum? Again, the known 3 moles of aluminum and our unknown is grams aluminum. And of course, the atomic mass of aluminum is 27. So, step 2, calculate the molar mass. And we know that the mass of 1 mole of aluminum is equal to 27 grams from the atomic mass of aluminum. So step three, using the conversion factor, calculate the grams of aluminum. So the given is three moles aluminum times the conversion factor, 27 grams aluminum over one mole aluminum. Again, the given must be on the denominator of the conversion factor. The unit of the given mole aluminum must be on the denominator of the conversion factor. So multiplying 3 times 27 will give you 81 grams of aluminum. Does it make sense? Let us evaluate. One mole of aluminum has a mass equal to 27 grams. What about 3 moles? It makes sense. It is 81 grams aluminum, which is 3 times the mass of 
one mole of aluminum. So it makes sense. Another problem is how many moles of H2O are contained in 36 grams H2O? So the same, the known is 36 grams H2O, the unknown is moles H2O. Of course, the atomic mass of hydrogen and oxygen are given. And step two, the molar mass of H2O. There are two moles of hydrogen times the molar mass of hydrogen, one gram over one mole of hydrogen, two grams of hydrogen. And one mole of oxygen times the molar mass of oxygen, 16 grams of oxygen. So, two grams of hydrogen plus 16 grams of oxygen is the mass of one mole of H2O. So that is our conversion factor. One mole over 18 grams. The given is grams. So the given grams is on the denominator of the conversion factor. So 36 grams times one mole divided by 18 grams will give you two moles of H2O. Let us evaluate. One mole H2O has a mass 18 grams. What about 36 grams? How many moles? Two moles. And it makes sense. If 18 grams is the mass of one mole, therefore, two moles is the mass. The mass of two moles is 36 grams. So let us summarize. Use the molar mass of an element or compound to convert between the mass of a substance and the moles of the substance. And take note, in the conversion factor, which one are you going to use? If gram is the unknown, then gram is in the numerator of the conversion factor. If mole is the unknown, then the unknown unit, which is mole, is in the numerator of the conversion factor. So here, one mole is in the numerator. That means this is the conversion factor to use when mole is unknown here. And when the unknown is grams, then the in the conversion factor, the molar mass grams must be in the numerator. And this is to be used in the problem when the unknown is grams.